Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in the previous video, we have did the main.js XHR request and we are able to make it successful this request, right? So now it's time for us to create the PHP code. So here I am creating a file. Let's say subscribers.php. Okay. So we need to open and close this one. So if you are having, oh sorry. So if you are having total php code means there is no need to use this uh, closing tag so opening like this we need to do and here first i am passing the header response header that the content type which we are trying to send is the uh, content type which we are trying to send is the text slash xml okay so this is the so here we will be sending echo response so i will be sending the response and here we can remove so echo means like a print thing echo console.log in javascript here i can use like this response in between this one we need to write echo okay or print also you can use it so first we need to get the subscriber name so whichever the thing it has been selected so we need to use the dollar here normally let constant we using in the javascript but here we need to use the dollar so here we can get the get request dollar underscore get of subscriber name so we got the subscriber name and let's have the subscriber list subscribers subscriber subscribers list is equal to so take an array and in this array i am be having something like john okay i will try to keep my name itself so krishna so like this some names like william okay so these are the names some names i am trying to keep it so here let's say that if in underscore array so in underscore array is the method available in the array method and we'll try to pass dollar subscriber name if dollar subscriber name is present in the dollar subscriber list if it is present means then what we need to do so i need to send message so subscriber uh, yeah so like this we'll have so we found the subscriber we need to use the dot here and we can use dollar subscriber name dot in the list or something like this we can use it so we are sending the response like this in the list else if so oh, here dollar subscriber name if dollar subscriber name is equal to is equal to empty so here i can use echo enter something i can write it something like this and else the so last one this one else nothing is found means else echo hmm. oh subscriber there is no subscriber with the name with the name dot dollar subscriber name Okay, dollar subscriber name. And help with subscribe. Hmm, here, please subscribe to the channel. So we can write the name like this, like this. So this is the response. So that's it. So finish. So this is our PHP code. So in order to start the PHP code, what we need to do is so here we need to cancel this one. PHP hyphen yes local. Oh sorry localhost colon 8000 that's it so we are calling this one and now there is no need for us to start the to have the live server so here if i open in this one i can remove this one localhost colon 8000 slash index dot html that's it so now we are able to see the same thing so now when i type something we need to send the url so the url is nothing but subscribers.php okay let's go here so we are having in the same domain so there is no need problem so we can write directly subscribers.php and we need to send a get request so here subscriber name is equal to so here we need to use the plus and we need to send the subscriber name so subscriber name where can i get it so let subscriber name let's close this one subscriber name subscriber name is equal to subscribe input dot value 
Oh, sorry. Dot value. Okay. So here subscriber name I can add it. So URL subscriber dot subscribers dot PHP subscriber name we have added it. So that's it. So let's try to see the output whether we are able to get the response or not. If I refresh this page and if I write something here and if I go here, see we are able to get the we are able to make a call and in the payload we are able we are trying to send the subscriber name. And in the preview, we are able to get the response. And in the headers, the response header we are getting is the content is the text slash XML. And the subscriber.php, we are able to get it. Now we got the subscriber's name. Now, what I want to tell you here, so we got this one, so console, and we got the XML document. So what I need to do here, so let's parse the XML document and show the text below. So we got here XML document. So here I can say that let document element is equal to document element is equal to xml data dot document element so we'll get the response thing and here what i can do here output we have an output right output dot inner html inner html is equal to document element dot inner html so we need to catch this inner html that's it if you see the example here so let's try to refresh this page and here let's go in here i'm writing something and here see there is no subscriber with name oh sorry there is no subscriber subscriber with the name like this okay and here if i try to write my name lila yeah we found the subscriber lila in the list okay if i write try to write some random name john john also we are able to find john in the list if i try to write something name like uh, Manoj or something like this. And if I say so there is no subscribe with the name Manoj, please subscribe to the channel. Okay. So like this. So now we have created our own PHP server, and this one is returning our XML response. And but for that XML response, we are able to find that XML response into the HTML. So what we have did here in the PHP. So let's recap it. So we are trying to change the headers, the response headers. We are trying to send the header is content type text slash XML, and this is the response. So we are framing the XML data and here we are getting the <coughs> subscriber name which is available in the query string and subscriber list we are we are having some list of subscribers and we are checking that whether in the array it is existing or not if it is existing so we are sending this text if, it is, if the subscriber name itself is empty enter something if some if subscriber is not available means so we are writing this name and here we are trying to call the same URL dot PHP like this so this is the dollar underscore get URL name so whatever the name you are using here the same name we need to use it here also dollar underscore get here so method is equal to get and we are trying to make the call and all those things remaining all you people already know which we have discussed it afterwards so this is how we can make a simple php server like this so in the next example you'll see how we can do it with the same with a node example hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the com comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you